a broken down shack by the railroad track. A little bitty baby cigars back. Hello YouTube. Hey, it's me again. Hello to all my subscribers. If you haven't been to my channel yet, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Come back for more. I always got something weird going on. Uh, right now, today, I'm finishing up a um, the upholstery on a small little husky little um, stool. I'm going to take off a piece of the plastic here, staple down the new cover I made, and put some glue on it, too. So stay tuned and enjoy. I think I have another video of me sewing up some of it. I, I didn't do a whole video of me sewing. I don't think you want to watch 16 hours of probably 24 hours of sewing. So anyway, I'm going to tilt this down so you can see what I'm doing here. Hopefully you won't see too much of my, my stomach here. What I'm going to do is I'm taking the staples out of here. Hold that grip it. Oh, shit. Hmm. Try to get this in there. Nope, looks like I need a knife in there. Vice grips? Yeah, vice grips. Everybody loves vice grips. Not everybody, some people don't. Why can't I get a pinch point on here? Ah, uh, it's like too far in there. Nope. I'm trying to take some of these staples out because I don't want to leave the staples in there. Okay, that's a pretty long staple. So there we go. Another one. I'm not cutting. I'm not taking the plastic off the top. I'm cutting the back off, and I'm gonna restaple it right over it because there's no real point in cutting it all off. I don't really want to see. There we go. Hold on. Before I do this, I want the staples off. There we go. There's another one. Come on, let's go. Flying steeple. There we go. I'm sure there's an easier way without losing an eye when I do flying staples. Screwdriver is still the best method. There we go. There's another one. There's another one. Let me fold that little way here. Alrighty. I'll probably shorten this. Basically, what I did is I. Um, I reupholstered his chair, and not, actually I didn't reupholster his chair. I welded the plate for the bottom of the chair on, and I was like, "This is ugly," so I decided to make a new one for him. I mean, I don't know. It was a challenge, like a good challenge. Plus, I haven't I haven't sewn any leather work in years, so it was like, why not? I used to sew hand um, pouches and other stuff by hand when I was. A little bit more of a spring chicken. There we go. That one's done. Now, I'm getting old and can't see what the hell I'm sewing anymore. There we go. Speaking of which, we got like two more. Two more to go. Good thing I have uh, reading slash safety glasses on. Who knows, I'd probably get myself putting an eye out on camera here. All right, now. Do I even have a pocket knife? I don't know. What are these here? Here we go. Go like this. I don't want to take it all off. I just want to... There we go. It's pretty thick. I'm leaving this on here so I don't get the leather all dirty. My bench isn't the cleanest. So clean. What happened was is the middle bar in there pushed a hole right through here and it broke. The the welds broke and the metal broke. So alright. That's about yeah. Are these the same size? Yep, same size staples. Okay. This is the new cover I made. So we're going to see how this goes. And basically we're just gonna stand here and fight to put this on. It does fit. I I have fitted on here already. 
just watch when I do it like this in front of a camera it's not gonna fit or something's gonna break oh also just think before I before I do anything everything was hand stitched I hand stitched it all no sewing machine whatsoever so y'all probably think I'm crazy by now but no this is a, a one-off However, I might do uh, some bar stools as I'm making four bar stools and they're standing behind me. And I might, just might, huh? get the crazy idea and make the tops like this. But here's the thing there is no way in hell am I hand stitching four bar stools. I got an old Singer sewing machine. I will gladly bring that sucker in the garage and now where'd the stapler go there it is here's the stapler i couldn't find my staples so i borrowed some more so now i gonna just put a couple of staples in here Ooh, that one didn't come up too good Jeez, louise That one's okay. Just to give it a nice tight. Hmm. Not sure if I should do it. I've never done upholstery before, so they look like an upholstery expert. Hell no. Uh, they're not even going in all the way. I'm gonna have to Get some lessons from somebody on these days. They're like smashing in sideways. What the hell? What in the hell is going on? There's that one. There's that one. And that one. And that one. Maybe it'll, maybe the staple's got to go on sideways, who knows. There we go, see? Very, very nice. Very nice. That's pretty cool, actually. I actually wasn't sure how the hell this would come out. Seems it came out pretty damn good. Gonna get, maybe I won't need glue on here. I should pull that one out and tighten it. But you know what? It seems like it's coming along pretty darn good. I'm quite impressed. I was putting the staples in the wrong way, apparently. Let me pull this one out. in there There's something in there oh no more we're out of staples five thousand and fifty staples to go and we're good put that one in there there let's see What the hell? No, it doesn't work. Oh, no, the staple dies out on me. When shit goes wrong, it will go wrong. All right, Jesus. Jeez Louise. Figures. Happens to me. Come on, get in there. I don't know if you can see this. Already, already, already. And we're getting somewhere. Let's put this mofo in there, like so. Put 
the hell? All right, let me pause this. Get it working. Ten minute video. Hello, YouTube. It's me again. Doing the other part of this video where I'm putting staples in here. Anyway, after looking and looking and looking, and that one just not wanting to cooperate, uh, like staples fly out of it. I don't know why the hell it's not doing that. Anyway, I'm gonna take all the staples out of it. I think it functions fine, but it just doesn't like the staples. So anyway, this stapler functions, but it, I don't know, it doesn't like me, I guess. So anyway, I found another stapler. Put some more staples in here and enjoy it. Let me take this one out of here. Da -da -da -da. 400 staples later. Well, it's better to fix it now than go to break later, I guess. Let me take this one out of here. Well, it looks like I got it. Okay. Hey, okay, hey, okay. Like this. There we go. This looks like it could be pulled in a little more, but she looks perfect. Maybe I could have pulled it in more, but you know what? Hey. All right, there's a hole over here, so I gotta cut this. I gotta cut the holes out where the where the um, what the hell is I gonna say? Where the screws go through. There's screw holes here. So I don't know if you can see it, my arm in the way. There's a screw hole here. And there's a screw hole over here. Staples in there. Hopefully, it goes in nobody's ass. Well, the bottom don't look pretty, but you know what? Who's looking at the bottom? There we go. Fancy. Now, here's the thing I gotta find the bolts for this. So, stay tuned and I'll show you the fin finished product. Hello YouTube, it's me again, and I'm putting bolts on now, let's see, this once was an ugly, it wasn't super ugly, but come on, that was the fun part, chasing bolts now, I know there's probably some better way to do this than just blindly stand here and hope you find the hole. All right, there's one. Now, look at the difference. Nice leather top. All fancy and shit. There we go. I don't even have a shelf stool this nice. That's the funny part. I mean, it's, I did a good job on this. I mean, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but... If I'm gonna like make somebody or something like this, I'm not doing a shit job. I'm uh the only thing that happened that went wrong is when I weld welded this thing up here, the gas cylinder, I guess it didn't attach right and well it didn't like it. So say la V, I guess. So there we go. There's one screw in there. 
One screw in there. Still turns, which is good. It's just a basically a bouncy chair now. Oop. I almost dropped it on my foot. Da -da, da -da. Don't want to get a little sweaty. There we go. Let's see how this looks on the floor now. Check this out, folks. Nice little shop stool. Extraordinaire. One husky stool turned into a nice, comfy stool. I mean, it goes all the way down, but you know what? It does the job. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's the last of the stool project and that's it off to something else